right? Time now for the chump line. The left pushed through yet another wish list, and all the right does is act like it's pissed. They didn't fight after election night, and we're paying the price for that opportunity missed. Well, we are, but at this point, what are they going to do if they can't flip one of the, there's There's two votes in the Senate, basically, they could have they could flip, possibly. Cinema from Arizona and Manchin from from West Virginia. Now, now Manchin from West Virginia is beginning to waver on the filibuster. If they if if they get the the power to do away with the filibuster, that means HR one is going away, and that means the republic is going away. <laughs> this is Andrew Cuomo. I'm so sorry that I got caught. And I, I promise I'll never behave that way again. And get caught. Yeah. It's, it's ironic, isn't it, though, that he succeeded? I mean, I know there was a guy in between, but he basically succeeded Elliot Spitzer. And Elliot Spitzer got caught for money laundering to pay his high-priced prostitutes. But the thing was, Elliot Spitzer, the way, he, the way he treated women, he never had to worry about him, anyone turning on him. He just got caught by his illegal activities to pay them. Whereas Cuomo was trying to get it, let's be honest, on the cheap. And this is what's happened to him. Let's play his brother's cut, too, as long as we're here. This is uh, Chris Cuomo. He got into trouble himself uh, the, over, the, uh, over the weekend on, on his uh, piss-poor CNN program, Cut One. Watching the asphalt grow, <laughs> thinking how it all looks handy. How do you know the words to good time? You know I'm black on the inside. Chris Cuomo is black on the inside. Well, uh, both of uh, both Cuomos have a black heart, if you can still say that. But I don't think he's really black on the inside. He's a reverse Oreo. Is that what he's saying? The Chump Line is brought to you today by Matthews Brothers, America's oldest window manufacturer. And this week's entry to the Go Fishing with Captain Dave Marciano contest involves the Ice Bucket Challenge, in which yours truly took a bath a few years ago. To play, go to MatthewsBrothers.com and enter today. Struggling to find Dr. Seuss books? Well, Honest Howie has a solution for you. Send in $50 cash and you could receive one of these great books from his new Dr. Coos series with titles such as The Moon Bat in the Hat, If I Ran the Hackerama, How Charlie Parker Stole Christmas, and of course, Dr. Coos' legendary John Kerry book, Oh, the Places You'll Gigolo. Order today. That's a good idea. All those books are good. That's the, that they could, they could be big sellers. And if you order three or more, you will get a thousand dollars worth of honest Howie's carbon credits and an autographed personally handwritten letter by a polar bear. Who's been saved from his ice melting ice flow in the Arctic. In some good news for Andrew Cuomo, Megan Markle did not specifically call him a racist. <laughs> yeah. He, he was the only one she didn't call a racist though. Right. Thank you, Taylor, for not uh, not filling up the cut sheet today with a lot of uh, Meghan Markle quotes. You you understood my my great reluctance to do a lot of Meghan Markle talk. Why today. waste either of our time? I know. <laughs> We've got I, more important things to do. I know. I there, there was one thing I did want to mention though that a, a book just came out about uh, the uh, the abdication of uh, Edward Edward the Eighth. You know the guy that the Duke of Windsor for uh, Wallace Simpson. And, you know, she said that she had never been criti- that she, no one had ever been criticized. Like, like she was criticized. They had some great quotes in here about Wallace Simpson from the 1930s. Here's what a Royal biographer said about Wallace Simpson, the divorcee who got the, got the King, King Edward to abdicate. And they just spent the rest of their lives in exiles playing golf in Palm beach. And, uh, and, and, taking care of their pugs, their fawn pugs. Here's what he said. She is one of the very oddest women I have ever seen. She is flat and angular and could have been designed for a medieval playing card. 
Wow, that's worse than anybody, any, anything anybody said about Grace today. Could have been designed for a medieval playing card. That means she's totally flat, totally uh, one-dimensional. No one ever accused Meghan uh, Markle of uh, being uh, designed for a medieval playing card. She used to... Hey, do you remember, we, Taylor? She, You know, she had a great acting career. She was the uh, satchel girl on uh, Deal or No Deal. I just learned that today, and I saw it. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, she she was she was headed for uh, she was she was headed for the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Hey, need to travel in a hurry? Don't have your vaccine card? Just call Honest Howie's Vaccine Passports. We treat you right. I tell you, I think I posted. I think I tweeted out my my vaccine passport. They're pretty damn easy to counterfeit. I'll just, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. All you, all you need is a mediocre copying machine anywhere. And you could come up with your own vaccine passport like that. Well, I guess the good news is Dr. Fauci won't be getting a stimulus check. <laughs> No, he won't. He makes four hundred and ten thousand dollars a year. He's just a little bit over the level of those who get a. If you're married uh, and you make one hundred and fifty thousand dollars or less, you will be getting a you will be getting a stimulus check. But Dr. Fauci is at four hundred and ten thousand dollars a year, so he doesn't quite make the cut. Howie, being a governor dealing with the COVID situation is so easy. A caveman can do it. <laughs> yeah, somehow the cavemen are doing a lot better job than the uh, than the the really the beautiful people like uh, Charlie Parker and uh, Andrew Cuomo and Phil Murphy. Murphy, by the way, said that uh, sending the uh, sending the the COVID nineteen patients uh, back into the nursing homes. Well, I'll let him explain it. Cut thirteen. Do you regret that decision to put sick people into nursing homes, even in the conditions you laid out? Margaret, if the operators followed, and, and we believe that most, thank God, did, the, 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 the pattern that I, or the instructions that I just laid out, that's the, that's the, that was the right course to take. That's the governor of New Jersey. I believe New Jersey has an even higher death rate than New York does. So that was the right course to take. So how much would it higher could it have been if you hadn't let the COVID-19 patients back into the nursing homes? And of course, to say for the one millionth time, Governor Phil Murphy of New Jersey and Governor Charlie Parker of Massachusetts graduated from the same high school together back in the 70s and then went to Harvard College together because they're both legacies. Loving, did you see that armed insurrection last week? Not a single person showed up. It was reminiscent of opening night for the gentleman from Boston. <laughs> Actually, I'll have to admit that it, it was kind of like opening night for a gentleman from Boston. My, uh, my follow-up picture to my smash hit, a civil action. You can still, you can still see it. Well, no, I guess you can't really see a gentleman from Boston anymore, anywhere. Maybe you can. But don't spend a lot of time looking because it's really not worth it. I'm just curious if Nancy Pelosi will be issuing a statement anytime soon calling the COVID relief bill crumbs. <laughs> That's a good point. That was a that was another great moment in uh, in in Trump Trump history when they called the uh, the COVID relief bill crumbs, or was it no? It was the tax cut they called crumbs. Not, not the COVID relief bill because they passed that. So, that was cake. That was Marie Antoinette, Speaker Antoinette, saying they they it was cake. Seven eight one says Walter Winchell said the King of England gave up his throne to be the third mate on an American tramp steamer. Get it, tramp? Oh no, was was he the third husband? I thought he was the second husband. Well, anyway, this you you get the picture. She she uh, she got around Wallace Simpson. That was your last chump line message. Thank you for calling Howie Carr, you chump. You know what they said about Wallace Simpson? She was only a farmer's daughter, but all the horse manure.
Got it, Taylor? I got it. I got it. Eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. That's it for the Chump Line today. The Chump Line is the recorded voicemail message service of the Howie Car Show. You can call and leave a message any hour between one and four p.m. Eastern time. The number is eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. Press two for the Chump Line. Leave your message. We may or may not play it at this time each weekday. And if you didn't hear your message or you just want to hear more messages, go to Chopped Chumps. That's our second chop. That's our second Chump Line of the day. Uh, it's posted around seven o'clock every night. Uh, get chopped chumps wherever you get your Howie Car Show podcast. The Chump Line is brought to you by Matthews Brothers, America's oldest window manufacturer. And this week's entry to the Go Fishing with Captain Dave Marciano contest involves the Ice Bucket Challenge, in which yours truly took a bath a few years ago. To play, go to MatthewsBrothers.com and enter today. Struggling to find Dr. Seuss books? Well, Honest Howie has a solution for you. Send in $50 cash and you could receive one of these great books from his new Dr. Koo series with titles such as The Moon Bat in the Hat, If I Ran the Hackerama, How Charlie Parker Stole Christmas, and of course, Dr. Koo's legendary John Kerry book, Oh, the Places You'll Gigolo. Order today. Boy. My only correction is it's not $50, it's $100 if you want to get that great collection. But you do get the $1,000 in Honest Howie's Carbon credits and the autographed letter from the polar bear. I'm Howie Carr. He didn't come here to be made sport of. Howie Carr. It's a new.